right, Lauren. Uh, it's good to see you. How are you doing today? I'm a little better. Yeah. You know, it's kind of dreary day outside, so yeah. it has me kind of in like a funky mood. But otherwise, I guess I'm good. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you have your homework assignment that we talked about last time? I do, yeah. Um, I definitely... I definitely filled in the blanks that you left. All right. Mm -hmm. um, can you read the whole statement for me? Sure. Um, so the first statement is I am, and then I inserted the word confused. Okay. So I am confused is my first set sentence. Um, the second one is others are, and I said more capable than me. Uh, the third one is, the world is unforgiving. And the fourth one was, therefore, in order to have a place to belong, I have to be confident. And those are my four statements. Nice. All right, can you tell me, is there anything in this activity that stood out to you? Um, yeah, it definitely made me think of my what, like, not only myself, but, like, the world around me and how that might play into how I'm affected by things um, and how I view stuff. Um, I didn't know what angle to come at this from, whether I should talk about how I feel in a specific situation or in general. So I just picked a specific situation and I um, filled in the blanks accordingly. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Can you tell me uh, if there were any kind of emotional responses to this? How did doing this activity make you feel? Um, it made me think. It made me feel very pensive, mm -hmm. almost. And it made me wonder why I feel confused. Like, what am I confused about at school? And then um, why, do, why do I feel that others are more capable of me? Why do I feel the world is unforgiving? And why do I think that I lack confidence. Mm -hmm. So that's kind of, it made me start thinking of ways to change those behaviors. Okay. And those thoughts. Yeah. These were definitely automatic thoughts for me. They were, mm -hmm. yeah. So, I guess, how often do you, do you feel that you have these kind of thoughts? Um, I think when I, th I think about certain thoughts is when I feel this way. Um, especially if there's something's not going right, I become pessimistic, and I would say that I feel this way, um, on my bad days. Okay. Do you think that you're pretty capable of recognizing when you have those thoughts? Yes, absolutely. I'm very, I see myself as a very self-aware person. I'm very self-aware of what I'm thinking, why I'm thinking what I'm thinking, and how it's affecting me. And how my reaction is affecting other people around me as well. Mm -hmm. Alright, and so what do you usually do when you have these thoughts? Um, I guess I just don't do anything with them really. I just know that they're there and I just kind of go about my day. Okay. Um, so if they, some bother me more than others, mm -hmm. so I will stew over stuff, I can get um, in a bad mood, I can take it out on other people, um, but I just, regardless, I just keep going about my day. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, so do you, um, when you have these thoughts, um, is it something that just kind of comes and then it passes, or um, do you, you have the thought and then you just, you keep thinking about it, or you mm -hmm. keep kind of mulling it over, and that's how it affects you, or... Some things I think about more than others, and some things, if it really bothers me, I kind of feel like it stays in my mind for days, um, and others, I feel like if I care less about it, I don't think as much about it. That makes sense. Mm -hmm. it, doesn't, it doesn't affect me as much as other situations that I feel I'm more personally involved with. Um, so I think... For our next session, if you're open to it, mm -hmm. um, what I'd like, I think the first 
kind of part in dealing with this mm -hmm. is that self-awareness. So you mm -hmm. seem to, to realize that you're doing this a lot, mm -hmm. um, but maybe we need to figure out exactly what those, those tri triggers mm -hmm. or those topics um, are that are really bothering mm -hmm. you. And so um, what I'd like you to do this week is when you, when you have a thought like this, um, to, to think about the situation mm -hmm. um, and just try to make like a little mental tally of, um, of what that situation is mm -hmm. that, that's bothering you. And, and then we can talk about it next time. Okay. Yeah, I think I can absolutely do that. That way we can see if there's some common themes. Okay. Excellent. All right. All right. Sounds well, thank good. you. Thank you. All right.